In this video, we study about a very important type of relation called as equivalence relation. Before watching this video, I advise you to at least go through these three videos, reflexive relation, symmetric relation and transitive relation. By now, we have an important rough idea about these relations, trivial relation, identity relation, reflexive, symmetric and transitive relation. And in the topic types of relations, we are going through this last one now, equivalence relation. Now, what is an equivalence relation? As the definition is written over here, we can comprehend that a relation R on set A is said to be an equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. I am underlining the important term. If it is reflexive, it is symmetric and it is transitive. Now, for a relation to be equivalence, I know that these three relations, these three conditions have to be satisfied. Let's see with the help of example as to what an equivalence relation is. A relation R defined on triangle is given as T1, T2 such that T1 is congruent to T2. I have been given a relation T1, T2 such that T1 is congruent to T2. Let's see whether this relation of congruency is equivalence relation or not. For that, we need to check whether it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. And in case if it is not reflexive or not symmetric or not transitive, it is not going to be an equivalence relation. All three things are to be satisfied. Okay, Re reflexive relation. Reflexive relation is the one in which I have all the elements of the set related to themselves. Each element of a set should be related to itself. Now, let's check whether T1 related to T1. Is T1 congruent to T1? Yes, T1 is congruent to T1. Since every triangle, since every triangle is congruent to itself, since every triangle is congruent to itself, so it is what? It is a reflexive relation. Hence, congruency for two triangles would be a reflexive relation. Now, let's check whether this relation is symmetric or not. Let's check whether congruency relation is symmetric or not. So, we are checking whether it is symmetric. Now, I have say T1 related to T2 as per this example, T1 is related to T2, two triangles are congruent, wherein T1, T2 I say belong to R, so I can write that T1 is related to T2. Now, if one triangle, if first triangle is congruent to second, does that also mean that second triangle is congruent to first? Yes. So, we can also say that this implies T2 is related to T1 or we can also say that T2, T1 also belongs to R. Now, since T1, T2 belongs to R, T2, T1 belongs to R, that means yes, it is also a symmetric relation. Now, last but not the least, we need to check whether this is a transitive relation. If it is a transitive relation, we already prove that yes, it is symmetric and reflexive. I can say that okay, my relation of congruency is an equivalence relation. Now let I have a condition such that T1 related to T2. I also have a condition where T2 related to T3, wherein T1, T2, T3 are three triangles. Now with these two things, I can say that when T1 related to T2, that means T1, T2 belongs to R, T2 related to T3, that means T2, T3 belongs to R, does that not imply that yes, 
the first and the third triangle are also related and they are also a part of this congruency relation yes if the first and second triangle are congruent second and third triangle are congruent i can say that the first and third triangle are congruent as well so this transitive relation is also a part followed for congruency that means i can say for a congruency relation i know that it is reflective it is symmetric it is transitive and because it is reflexive symmetric and transitive it is an example of equivalence relation so this congruency relation is nothing but an example of equivalence relation that means any relation is an equivalence relation when it is always reflexive symmetric and transitive